All right, I was asked to uh, do a walk around video of my ATV that runs on charcoal. Um, it's actually pretty basic. What it is, I took a pressure tank for a well. I took the bottom out because it was plastic and I sealed it up with a, a metal plate. And I used some high temp R RTV. I welded in a reducer um, right there. I'm sorry, uh, just a coupling. I cut a coupling in half so that I could, uh, I welded that in a pressure tank. That way I can put a reducer on there, an inch and a half. So it reduces down to three quarter on this side and the other side. Um, and that way I can put my nozzle in here. So let me just see if I can get this part here. The water drip. The nozzle is a fluted nozzle. I just took some black pipe and uh, drilled some holes. They're about a quarter inch diameter holes. And they're probably about an inch apart from each other. Okay, so it'll suck air in through here. Take that plug out here. After you get the fire lit, the engine will draw draw the air in and then this hose is for the water drip <clears throat> it cools the reaction down makes your nozzles last a little longer but it also makes a lot of hy hydrogen and then on the top as you can see I just made a, a cover for a pot fit on there. I used some stove rope. Okay, and then more high temp RTV. Inside you can see the, the charcoal. And I think we're about halfway down right now. And then just the strap. You, you kind of want this lid on tight, right? Because we want a closed system. You, know, wants, you want it to be sealed. So whatever you got to do to do that, um, it kind of loosened up a little bit. So I just jammed a, a hinge in here to make it seal tight. And then I welded another coupling, the other half of this coupling down here. I welded the other half up here, and that way I could thread this in. This is a cyclone, it's kind of too big for this unit. Um, I'm gonna be building another one here shortly. I think I'm gonna drop down to maybe a three inch diameter. This is about a six. Um, <clears throat> this pipe here is welded onto this plate, but it probably drops down, you know, three, four inches inside here. And as the gas and charcoal dust is coming through, it's gonna spin around the whole thing right it's going to be cooling down and then the, um, as it's cooling down it condenses and that condensate is going to settle in here along with uh, some charcoal dust so this is another thing that's really easy to make and you want this to be able to um, spin off so you have to have threads here and another coupling okay and then out, the outgoing gas is up here. And I'm just trying out these filters. I don't know, know if I'm too happy with them. I think they'd probably work for a smaller engine. Um, for this engine, I probably should put them um, parallel rather than series. And I think I'd get a, a better filtration, but I still want a, uh, a different 
final filter with um, like maybe a wall. So I'm experimenting with that. And that way they reduce the amount of charcoal dust that actually ends up in the engine, right? So, still in developmental stage. Oh, here, this is kind of cool here. So what we got for the mount is this will pivot up here so you can dump out any of the fine ash after you've been using it for a while. You got the bolt here that you can loosen up and then the whole thing will pivot so you can dump the thing out and start with fresh charcoal. Alright, and so then the gas is going to come down. This is a drain valve down here. In case you have any more condensate that, that wants to come out, prefer it not to go in the engine. Right? And so everything is sloped down towards that valve. And for our air intake, um, all we did is we just used like a sewer hose here. And then we took another reinforced hose and we drilled a hole. It's held by a screw and then um, sealed up with some silicone so you get a nice tight seal. Okay, and it goes directly into the carburetor. So this is a hybrid. Um, I can use gasoline if I choose, or I can fire it up on wood gas. And I like to start it on gasoline just so the engine's warm. It makes it for easier starting, less wear on your starter. But then I like to... Um, after I'm done driving on charcoal, I like to run on gasoline just to keep the carburetor clean. Right, so this is my air intake. When I'm running on gas, I'm sorry, when I'm running on uh, charcoal gas. And to get everything started, what I do is I pull this plug right here, put a little couple pieces of uh, charcoal in there and use a torch to, to uh, get those little pieces of charcoal red hot. After that, then I just take a um, wet and dry vac and blow air inside here. When I'm blowing air inside there, this valve is open and the gas is coming out of here. After a couple, three minutes, then you can take the torch and you can ignite this. Now if the air is blowing too hard, it's not going to sustain a flare, but you're going to see that it's engine grade gas coming out of there. And once that's ready, you can shut your wet and dry vac off, or you can use a mattress inflator, whatever. Um, I just picked up a, a Ryobi battery powered one that it can blow in there and um, you know once the gas is ready I, um, I crack this valve about halfway I throw this air cleaner on air filter so we're not sucking up any dust while we're driving so um, that's about it. I, oh, when I started, I this one tends to need to have the throttle on all the way when I start it until it gets warmed up. So, if you have any questions, just let me know. Feel free to ask.